Hey guys, Antihero here, welcoming you back to Magic Duels. In the last episode, we did the first match for Black and learned a little bit about Black, and now this episode we're going to take on the second match of Black. So, last time we learned a little bit how Black plays out, sending creatures to the graveyard, bring them back, and whatnot. And I got a little confess confession to make. This is my second time recording this episode. I lost the this match, so I'm recording it again. Hopefully I do better. Alright, so now that I know what I'm expecting. Um this is decent. I'm gonna summon my shambling goblin. Okay, that's why I keep getting confused with Goblin and Ghoul. Because they're both shambling... This is shambling Ghoul, that's shambling Goblin. I keep getting them mixed up, so... Alright, so I'm going to play land, summon my shambling Ghoul. And then hope for the best. Alright, I'm going to attack... Alright, let's see what he does now. And he's summoning his an elk. Alright, so play another land. Play another shambling ghoul. And then I'll attack with my Telling me to attack with just that. So, I'm going to listen to the game and do that. If he blocks, his creature dies. Alright, so he's down to 18, which isn't bad, but. Is he attacking? No. He, he instead he's summoning a wolf. Hmm. That wolf is gonna cause some problems. Cause he can pay three to give it a two two power. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to attack with do I want to attack with all? That's the question. But actually, yeah, I'm gonna attack with all. He'd probably block my two, two, threes with his creatures and leave my shambling ghoul alone. My shambling goblin alone. Or he can just not attack. So instead, I think I'm going to Bone Splinter. You know what? I'm going to save Bone Splinter for later. And just pass for a turn. Alright, he is summoning Prey Upon. Dark creature you control fights. Dark creature you don't control. Oh boy. So he's, he's going to challenge my Shambling Goblin with that. He's going to boost him up. I am going to... Activate Alter's Reap beforehand and draw two cards so that cancels out his sorcery. Okay, he's gonna swing for six. Alright, play mana. Now I can crow revival him. I'm gonna save that for later. Instead, I'm going to summon my grave digger. And since I only have one creature in my graveyard. And 
then I can bone splinter his wolf, but I'm gonna pass on to my attack and attack with all. Dealing three damage. Nope, this is going a lot better this round than it did my last recording of this. Alright, so I'm gonna pass for turn. And is he going to attack? No. Instead, he's summoning another wolf. I would have thought he would have attacked with his wolf, powering it up. Alright, so I got another bone splinter, so I'm gonna summon both my shambling ghouls. Because I can. Now, I am going to attack with everything. And he's probably going to block everything. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to minus one, minus one his wolf killing off one of his wolves then I'm going to bone splinter his other wolf and sacrifice my grave digger for it just because he can keep boosting it up what are you summoning now okay you're attacking that's fine I have no issue with that you playing now? Oh god. That thing. Luckily a creature didn't die this turn. Otherwise it would have became an 8-8. Eight, eight. So. But I don't want that thing around. So I'm going to grow revival it. And bring back my grave digger. And since he has nothing to block with, I'm going to swing for 4, taking him down to 4. Yeah, that worm thing that I just killed is what killed me last match. And why I had to re-record this, because I forgot he had trample. Oh god, a somber vault spider. That doesn't sound good. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bone splinter. Kill off a spider. Sacrifice my ghoul. Damn it. Ah, I needed one more mana. Okay, so I'm gonna... That was a bad call. I thought I had one more mana than what I did. Okay, confirm. So that was a bad call on my part. So I'm gonna skip attack. Summoning Blunder Number Land and Spirit. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, I got my land. Now, if if things go as I want. If he blocks one of my creatures and kills it, okay, my grave digger is gonna die. Well, there you go. I don't know why he. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna revive from the grave his worm. And since the creature died this turn, he's gonna get four 1 1 counters on it, making it an 8 8. Oh, yeah, I'm going to kill you the way you killed me. So I'm going to summon all my creatures. Then I'm going to attack you, you with your worm and kill you off with your worm. The same worm that killed me last recording. There you go. Payback's a bitch. Alright, that went a lot better than my last attempt. I'm glad that happened, so. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my Facebook and Twitter for updates on videos that are coming out. I've been Antihero Sora. And next time, we'll take on the third match of Black. See you then.